Uh, once again, uh, Christ in Africa, again we thank you for this uh, second part of our thoughts concerning uh, the Nativity, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the Christmas. As you know very much, dear brothers and sisters in Christ who are listening to us, we know very well that the greatest feast in the Orthodox Church is Easter, is Pascha, not Christmas. And we know very well uh, Christmas in the Orthodox Church is being celebrated for us who are following the Gregorian calendar. Uh, we celebrate on the 25th of December. But those who celebrate uh, Julian calendar is on the 7th of January. So we find that uh, now for us here who are in the Western world, uh, where we are in a very dominated the other denomination, so we celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. Unfortunately, the way how we celebrate Christmas here in Burundi, or I could say generally, very interestingly, because Orthodox is new in these countries, either in our patriarchate. So the much emphasis, unfortunately, the much emphasis is more material, material, not spiritual. So we find that really is a very, very big feast in the countries whereby they follow the Western calendar. The Gregorian calendar is much more material, material. People prepare themselves, people spend the money on material things, such as, for example, you find even in Africa here, even here in Burundi, you find all the things are hiked. They are very expensive. They double the prices. Even traveling expenses, you want to go to your village to celebrate the, the high career in the transport, even clothes, even what. But here, mostly the celebration of Christmas is a celebration whereby families come together. Only a time in the year where all the families come together. It is the only time where even those who don't go to church, they come to attend the church because they want that Noel, uh, the, the, the Christmas day, that most people, the church are packed, are packed. So you find that most really uh, on Christmas day, more people attend the church. Then after church is to go home to celebrate, especially to drink, to eat. Uh, children expect to get new clothes. Also, uh, many things, gifts, 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 gifts. So it is really a material uh, feast whereby in the uh, Western world is more material. So it is unfortunate. Instead, for example, spiritually, we are not really. It is very difficult for the people to talk about the issue of spirituality. So more is, is a fresh or man-centered feast whereby it, it is really uh, unfortunate uh, that Jesus is going to be born in our hearts. Then you, you find that our hearts are not ready to receive him. You find on that day of Jesus is born, instead of people are celebrating, uh, what are they going to get? That's the main focus. And you find that even on that day, people, some, those who don't have something to eat, they feel very bad. Those who don't have new clothes, they don't go to church. Even, uh, I remember my sister, I always say about it, there is one time the husband was not able to buy clothes, new clothes, so he had to come back at home because the husband has not bought clothes. So we find it's a day whereby people receive gifts and give gifts. So we are supposed really to prepare ourselves spiritually so that Christ when he's being born to be born in our hearts because we know uh, God descended from above to come and be with us even there is a hymn which is being chanted in the Orthodox even the tropario 
uh, even the apolitikio, uh, the tropario, which he says about uh, uh, Christ is born, glorify him. So we see, uh, but sorry by sorry, people are coming to know about the orthodoxy, and we pray and hope that this feast, instead of being mainly man-centered, eh, to be God-centered. So we want to wish each and everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.